Welcome to One Minute Bugs. I'm Dennis Crawford. G'day. Welcome to Bug Basics number three. Today, we're looking at unusual insect life cycles. As I mentioned in the previous Bug Basics, there's more than one type of insect life cycle. In the last video, we looked at a life cycle like this, which is one of complete metamorphosis, typically from egg to larva to pupa to adult insect. And insects which have life cycles like this include you know, moths and butterflies and beetles and flies and wasps and lacewings and so on. We also looked at the life cycle of incomplete metamorphosis, where typically we go from an egg through a series of nymph molts to an adult insect. And insects which have life cycles like this include grasshoppers and um, bugs, well this is a green vegetable bug, um, and earwigs and insects like that. But some insects have life cycles somewhere in between the two and we call it intermediate metamorphosis. Common insects with this type of life cycle include whiteflies and thrips. But starting with whiteflies, there's about 120 different species in Australia and they are members of the bug order Hemiptera in the family Alarodidae. Their life cycle is egg. Uh, now, I've just explained. In this image here, the eggs are the grey things. Uh, when they're first laid, they're white. Uh, but in this particular instance, the white things are actually parts of the leaf structure. So don't worry about that. So we have eggs. Then they hatch into these sort of flattened oval shaped nymphs, which go through a couple of um, molts until the fourth instar nymph, and then you end up with an adult. Now that sounds kind of familiar, right? Except at this fourth nymph stage, things change. The nymph becomes, uh, it stops feeding, and it becomes opaque and becomes a puparium, which is basically a pupa inside the nymph skin. So what's going on in here is the adult is forming and it will emerge from this. Um, these, this stage of the life cycle is really important for taxonomy. This is how white flies are described and you can uh, tell the difference between the various species. But if we check this image out, it's not the greatest image, but you can see the white part is the skin of the nymph, which has split, or the skin of the puparium has split and the adult insect is starting to emerge. And eventually something like this will um, come out. Thrips also have a life cycle of intermediate metamorphosis. Now thrips are in an insect order of their own, Thysanoptera, which means um, fringed wings. Now at some stage I will do a bug basics on um, you know, insect classification and why some insects are grouped together and not with others and blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, there's about 500 species of thrips found in Australia, and this is a typical life cycle. Now, thrips are very small, so you can imagine how big the eggs are, tiny. They're also translucent and they're laid usually inside leaf tissue, so you won't see them. From the egg hatches a first instar larva, which immediately begins feeding. They are also sap suckers, which molts and becomes a second instar larva. Then it all changes. After the next molt, the insect becomes a pre-pupa and stops feeding. After the next molt, it becomes a pupa. Now with these two pupal forms, you can see wing buds, and eventually an adult will um, form after the last molt. Now, I don't have photos of the, uh, the pupil stages, but I do have um, an image of a larva. That's basically what they look like. They're quite mobile when they want to be. Uh, but if they're happy, they'll just be sitting there uh, plugged into the plant and um, sucking sap. And there's an adult. And as you know, they're only a, a millimetre or two long. And uh, you've just seen the larva and the adult of a Western flower thrips. Now, those non-feeding pupil stages are usually found in soil or leaf litter or something like that, but not always. 
In the next video, I'm going to introduce you to a species of thrips that goes through its entire life cycle somewhere on a plant. I'm not going to give too much away because it's quite an incredible story. And it'll give you a little bit of an insight into why I'm kind of obsessed with insects, because they are just so incredibly amazing. And so you'll have to wait uh, for the next video to see that. Tip time! Did you know that the word thrips applies to a single thrips as well as multiple thrips? So you have one thrips, two thrips, several thrips. There is no such thing as a thrip. You can use that if you like at your next garden club meeting or at a dinner party or something like that. It's all yours. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as I always ask, please subscribe if you haven't done so because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching.